Back in. The same mistakes on, the, on both sides of the fence. We get too close, we get too far away, we swing too soon, we look up too soon. All these are tied to the eye. The more we can reinforce the eye and strengthen it, these problems go away and your game goes to the next level. We will follow the same three steps we did on your forehand. Find your balance and restore it. Reinforce it before you go to the court. It can give you the strengthening exercise drills so that when you go to the courts, your game will be able to raise itself to the next level again without changing your strokes. The key components will be when to swing and when to look up. But first, let's find your balance point. Okay, let's find your balance point. I want everyone to watch me first and then do it in your living room. The first thing we're going to do is finish your swing, hold your balance, and if you can hold for 15 seconds on your right foot, if you are right-handed, you have found your balance point. If you cannot, more than likely, if your hip is too far away from your side, you will feel tremendous pressure on your right foot. Bring your hip closer to the contact point and see if this relieves the pressure on your foot. The second part, when you finish your swing, if your eye is moving forward as you swing, you will feel the same imbalance created in your swing. Finish your swing, leave your eye right where the point of contact was, let it separate from the ball, and you have found the center of your balance with your eye. Let me finish my swing. I can hold for 15 seconds. Now everybody practice theirs. Now we've found our balance point, let's reinforce it. This is where the eye becomes the critical component for judging the ball. It's as easy as one, two, three. You can count the one, two, and hit it on three. You will be training your eye to follow the ball all the way until contact. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. The key to this is to leave your eye where the ball is going to come to, which is number three. Your test before going to the next drill is to be able to complete this cycle 15 times in a row without missing. Drill number three, strengthening your balance at contact using your eye properly. The key component here is learning when to swing and when to look up. As you see this circle, if I begin my swing outside of this circle, I already know I've lost my balance and my eye will misjudge it. The key to when to swing is once you get inside the circle. So move a little bit, come back. Move a little bit, come back. This will teach you when you should start your swing. And now you watch carefully. If you start your swing here, you already have found an imbalance in your system that you'll have to overcome. If you start your swing in here, you'll already find another one. Practice at home, five, 10 minutes, once or twice a week, when to swing, and then you can build in the perfect timing for when to swing, and the final component, when to look up. Now go to work 15 times in a row before you go to the court, you'll be ready to go. Want to put some more spin in your game? or want to learn spin, follow this drill. There'll be no verbal instruction. Just copy exactly what I'll be doing next. When you take your swing this time, finish your swing, notice your racket will have to come up. If it goes forward, you'll have less spin. If you pull it back and use your hip, you will create your spin. The faster you pull it back, the more spin it will take to the ball. The faster you pull it back, the more spin you'll create. The more you swing out, the less spin. All you have to do is look and see if you have created spin. Here's your tip. Start with a one or two mile per hour swing so that you can find the angle that you want to remember and leave your eye there for your balance point and you will create your spin very, very quickly. Somewhere between five to 10 swings, you have taught yourself a tremendous amount of spin